Hi, my name is Henry Suknevich. I'm a designer uh, living and working in India for the past nine and a half years. Um, I've worked with many universities, uh, corporates, and uh, NGOs, helping them look at how they can use design in new ways and how they can think creatively about making. For the workshop with UID, we decided to build off of some of the work that I did back uh, during college looking at a concept called shape grammars, which is actually something that all designers do all the time, whether or not they know it. But it's a way to talk about computing with shapes. So very simply, if I have a shape and I can add another shape at a particular spatial arrangement, and I continue on doing that, by setting those rules, I can generate whole compositions that I would have never been able to before. It's a way to think about designing formally and forcing designers of all different types to think critically about what they're doing. It's also a really great way to talk about basic computational concepts, which are really important when we think about digital design, aspects of parametrics, and all sorts of quite complex co concepts. And it's a way for us to talk about them without even having to open up a computer. So one thing that we also wanted to talk about during this workshop, yes, we are talking about aspects of computation and the digital, but we also need to focus on the importance of hands, hands-on work, on focus and attention to detail, making things consciously, which means taking time to let glue dry. So it was really exciting to see such a great facility at UID uh, with their Felder Lab. Um, I think it really gave a great, um, inspiring space where students' creativity are backed up with really professional tools and professional support. Um, I'd really like to thank Paris and his whole team um, for their workshop assistance. Um, at the same time, the academic assistance from Kausto, um being able to support this entire initiative was, was absolutely wonderful. Hi, my name is Ridham Nahar and I'm a PG1 student from Interior and Experience Design. We had a three-day workshop with Henry Sir learning about shape grammars and some, uh, following some basic rules. As uh, drawing in, uh, designers, we have to learn that not only the end result but also the process in between from making prototypes to the final output is as equally important and not rushing but going slow and steady is the main key to accuracy and the output. Hi, I'm Anurag, a student of Interior and Experience Design, PG1. Uh, in this three-day workshop, we were introduced to a concept called Shape Grammar. We learned about how one shape can be manipulated using some rules repeatedly so that they form a sculptural design. When we started this workshop, we only had one piece of wood, but as we added more and more pieces of wood using one rule repeatedly, we started seeing a design direction because of that rule and where we eventually wanted to head. At the end, this is what we arrived at because those rules helped us build this sculpture so that this entire thing behaves as one single holistic unit. Overall, this workshop was very helpful because this was a new concept that we learned and I think we will be using this concept more and more in our world. I'm Tanvi Rode and I'm Interior and Experience Styling student PG Sem 1. We had a workshop with Henry Sir where we learned computational design and shape grammar in which we learned the concept of uh, like how to, uh, you know, draw, uh, make models, how precision and accuracy is important while building a model and how basic rules can be used as parameters for building. Myself Akanksha from in, uh, Masters in Interior and Experience Design, Semester 1. We are working uh, with uh, Shape Grammar and Computational Design Workshop since last three days and we really had fun being a part of it. Shape Grammar Workshop uh, gives us a new direction for our imagination. It also improves our skills for uh, developing the structure. Uh, it also 
teaches us how to give the attention for every detail. Basically, we are working in Fedler lab. We were working. With, uh, we were given a single piece of wood from which we split it into many pieces, and further we uh, set the rule and we follow the rule for giving us the direction uh, to make the sculpture. Shape grammar was just like a journey without destination, where we were not knowing what would be the final output, but we just follow the rule and it gives us an amazing output.